Hello everyone, in this video we'll be going over how to use the vibration sensor SW420 with Arduino. We'll be going over the sensor pins, how to connect it to the Arduino Uno, how to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor through the built-in potentiometer, how to program in Arduino, and of course we'll be going over some testing. So let's go ahead and get started. So the vibration sensor has three pins. We have VCC on the right, where we will connect 5 volts. We have ground in the middle, we will set to the same ground as the Arduino Uno. And then we have digital output, which will provide the signal indicating whether or not there's vibration being sensed where a high, or in this case a voltage equal to VCC, will mean vibration being sensed, and a low or zero will mean no vibration. So now, to connect this to the Arduino Uno, we set VCC connected to 5 volts as shown in the red cable. Then we connect ground on the Arduino Uno and ground on the vibration sensor. And then digital output coming out of the vibration sensor goes to digital I.O. pin number 7 on the Arduino Uno. Now, if we need to adjust the sensitivity of the vibration because we want it to trigger or sense vibration at higher or lower levels of vibration, all we have to do is use the built-in potentiometer to adjust whether we want it to be more sensitive or less sensitive to vibration. So now with that said that we have covered the basics, let's go ahead and go to the Arduino code. Now we're in Arduino IDE and the first thing we'll do at the beginning of the code is to find the IO pin that we will use for the vibration signal. In this case I'm setting it to number 7. Then I'll define a sensor state variable under void setup, I will define the pin mode for the vibration single signal as an input. And then we'll begin the serial communication since we'll use it to display the setting via the serial monitor. Then under the loop, we will go ahead and print under serial monitor the vibration status. Then we'll set the sensor state equal to digital read of the vibration signal. That way when we read vibration, this will provide a high or a low when we read no vibration, which we'll then use under this if statement. So if sensor state equals 1, which means a high, we will print in the serial monitor sensing vibration. Otherwise, if there's no vibration, which will be on a sensor state equal to 0, we will print no vibration. And that will be next to this vibration status. So that way, as we are running the serial monitor, we will be seeing whether or not vibration is being sensed by the vibration sensor. And that's it. Now, if you want a quick and easy way of getting this code, all you have to do is go to DIYengineers.com and specifically go to the blog post associated with this video. I'll leave a link in the description, but all you can do is go there and then simply go to the Arduino code section right here and you can copy the code and then you know, just paste it on your Arduino ID and then you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and run the code. So I first upload it. Now that it's done uploading, we can go ahead and click on the serial monitor and we can see how we have no vibration. And then as soon as we make the sensor vibrate, we can see the vibration. So this concludes the video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.